The Commonwealth Bank has announced Chief Executive Ian Narev will retire next year as it deals with the fallout of the money laundering scandal. The board says the announcement is all part of a normal succession plan, but analysts suggest it's designed to clear the air. After six years heading up Australia's biggest bank, Ian Narev is stepping down. CBA says he'll go at the end of the financial year and it's looking for a replacement. Nothing has changed. We have full confidence in Ian as CEO and the ongoing CEO succession process is something which you would expect to be happening given Ian is at this point in his tenure. It's a shift from last week. As he unveiled a record profit, Ian Narev said he would not step down and the board hadn't asked him to. How confident are you that this uh, isn't the, the beginning of the end? The, the board's made its position uh, very clear and I know us to have a, a very good forthright board. The highest paid of the big four bank chiefs has deflected a barrage of questions over his tenure since the scandal broke. The bank potentially faces billions of dollars in fines after the regulator Austrac took legal action, alleging its deposit machines were used for money laundering more than 50,000 times. Yes, I think it's been brought forward and I think that's a good thing. It clears the air a little bit. But now the board's in the firing line. The corporate watchdog ASIC is investigating the bank's directors and whether legal duties had been breached or disclosure laws broken. ASIC chair Greg Medcraft says he was completely blindsided by the affair despite meeting with Catherine Livingston two days before the Austrac announcement. I was, you can imagine, a little stunned. We weren't aware that Austrac had decided to launch proceedings until Thursday the 3rd of August when it did launch. Late this afternoon, the bank also disclosed that it had shortchanged 36,000 current and former employees of superannuation benefits and it will pay back $10 million of credit card insurance to around 65,000 customers. Emily Stewart, ABC News.